It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Here are some of the most raw and wise David Goggin moments of wisdom and inspiration. Sit back and listen, because you don't want to miss anything from this guy. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You are always the purpose. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever, but the main purpose in life is you. Why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life. That's the only purpose I fucking need becomes you become very very powerful when you overcome yourself how can they stop feeling sorry for themselves you have to want it you have to be proud of yourself and if you have no pride in yourself i can't give it to you if people can make up a mission statement an ethos in which they want to live by every morning you wake up you hold yourself accountable to that mission not a company it's your own make up your own mission statement what do you want to be in life if you're willing to suffer and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. I was in the worst pain in my entire life. I was, to me, on the brink of death. This became me against this race. It, it, it just became something that I took so so violently personal. So I went through all these small steps and I, I was able to stand up. And then from standing up, I was literally walking around with my wife at the time. And she goes, you're not gonna make the time. She goes, you're running, I mean, you're, you're walking like 30 some minute miles. I got to mile 81. And the second she said that I'm not gonna make the time, I ran the last 19 miles nonstop. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you right now. This was years ago. I had to put compression tape on my Whoa. ankle and I had, so this was years ago. I had literally the size of half dollars. I had to get compression tape. And Whoa. I did that every single day for six months. What am I gonna do today to change what I see in this mirror? What am I gonna do today? I call myself fat, because I was fat. And people don't wanna do that. They wanna say, oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the fuck you are, nothing's gonna change. And it's raw, it, it gets ugly sometimes with me in that mirror, but I'm also proud of myself to be able to tell myself that and then fix what's in that mirror. I had to be honest with you, man. I'm even shaking right now being on this show. I'm a big time introvert. How you address it is you face it. Every single day of your life, except in the fact that if you lose three or four pounds, that's a huge accomplishment. You have to live in your own fucking world. Are you accountable for what you're doing? Are you accountable? And I mean, to the T, read my book and say, okay, I'm afraid of my shadow. How can I overcome that? Go in the military, get your ass kicked, do things you hate to do. Be uncomfortable every fucking day of your life. Roger that. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful and as brutal as it is, it changed me. It allowed me to become, in my own right, who I am today. If you're choosing to do something, attack it. I'm running against myself in everything I do. I'm always questioning myself. I'm always holding myself accountable. My mind's saying all this shit to me. It's saying, get out of here, run, flee. Fight or flight kicks in. Okay, we're done, we're not good enough. It starts telling you all these things. You start to believe it, because the mind controls all. This is the time where you have to gain control back of your mind. What are you doing? We're supposed to be going right, and you're going left. You start then controlling your mind. In the dark room, you face yourself, you realize you want to be better. You realize you don't want to be this weak, insecure person in the world who has all these problems that we all have. Self-talk and visualization are the two keys to my success. Put a goal in your mind. How are you going to feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? Coming from the fucking hell you came from. All the energy and fuel you need is right in yourself. It's all there. You got a lot of stuff to do to overcome. And you know, that's where I found it. I found it right there in my own insecurities. I found drive in my own insecurities. Right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Shut the fuck up, go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, it wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. I got to experience the beauty of true fucking willpower. If you think you're dumb, no matter if you think you're fat, no matter if you are fat, no matter if you've been bullied, or no matter if you just got back from Iraq or Afghanistan and you have no legs or your arms or whatever, man. We all have greatness.